Good morning, everybody. It is a rainy Monday morning. So I'm assuming this is typical UK weather. I don't know. I'm just going by stereotypes and what I've heard. Supposedly it rains a lot. So I'm just assuming that this is our new normal. Anyways, we're just hanging out. Callum, my little buddy, and I. And Linnea, of course. He's in his little rain jacket. I have an umbrella. I should probably get an actual rain jacket. We're on our way to Sainsbury's, the usual. I need to pick up stuff for dinner and stuff to make for Roman for work. Looks like they're doing some construction, huh? They're doing yeah, some the work. <laughs> I think Callum enjoys watching all the, the activities on the street. Luckily, this is a pretty busy street, so I feel pretty safe on this street. Um, and there's always, there are always people working or doing something or outside gardening, so it's a pretty busy street. I was thinking about making some cod for dinner tonight because my mom makes cod really well and we haven't had fish in a while. I mean, we had fish and chips, but I was thinking of making like bump. healthy fish and vegetables. A big bump. A big bump. A big bump. A bump, 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 bump. <laughs> I don't know how this one is still awake. She's been fussing all morning like she's sleepy, but yet she's still awake, so I don't know. She kind of gums the, the top of the Ergo Baby carrier a little bit. That's exactly what Callum did when he was teething. I love my children. I will have to say some things about the adjustment have been less than desirable, but I'm really glad that I've been able to stay home with my kids and learn all this stuff with them. And I just feel really good being able to see Callum's reactions to everything. And um, I think it'd be a lot harder if I was also rushing to a job and, uh, you know, just going to work myself. So I feel that this is, it's been really nice to have that, at least this time with him and Linnea. You see a stone? Yeah, I see water drops. Probably from the trees. Water's trickling from the trees. <laughs> yeah. That's the bus. But we're walking. We just walk. We walk when we can. Yeah, we walk when we can because that's healthy. It's healthy to walk. Why is it can? Hmm. <laughs> he sees himself. He loves this window. He's watching this woman clean in her store. In her little shop. Oh, okay, come on. Yeah, she's cleaning up. Callum, he's so cute. We're back home and uh, Callum's actually taking a little nap. So it's nice to have just a little bit of time with, with Linnea. And um, I'm a little excited because today's actually the last day of my 20s. <laughs> it's crazy to think that tomorrow I'm turning 30. And I, I mean, I still remember turning 18 or 19. I mean, I still remember all these birthdays and it's like, how is it possible to already be here? I've had a really great decade of 20s and um, I just feel, I feel ready. I feel like, I feel like I'm ready to turn 30. I always just tell myself that you're meant to grow old. You're meant to, to grow up and get older and that's, that's the way life that's how it goes. And um, I just realized that the alternative is terrible. To stay the same age means that you're, you're not alive. And I just feel really, um, I feel really blessed for each and every, every birthday and each and every day that I just get to be alive and to just be alive and have these moments, the good, the bad. And I think that's why Honestly, that's probably what being an expat has done to me. Um, 
it's probably what living in Germany has done to me. Just you, you don't take time for granted and you don't take, um, you don't take the bad too seriously either. You just become very aware that change is impossible to stop. So you just sort of go with it. I mean, we're not super happy about, um, about where we're living and the current situation, but I also want my kids to see in me that there's, that there's good. I want my kids to see that it's important to never give up and to always have hope and it doesn't mean that you're optimistic and it doesn't mean that you just put on a fake smile and pretend that everything's okay. Whatever's happening will eventually make sense. I I will just always remember the 20s of getting married and moving to Germany and um, just having those big life experiences with Roman and um, just having our babies and just, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time in my life. And now it's time to move to the next chapter, you know? Time to turn 30. <laughs> I think she's looking at herself. Yeah. Who's that beautiful baby girl? Who's that girl? That's our Yaya bug. That's our Yaya bug. I love you. I love you. Linnea? We have to get dinner started. Yes, we do. What are we going to eat? We're gonna have chicken and potatoes and green beans and salad. Okay, okay, okay. Roman's home, but he's sitting outside with Callum who woke up and is just in a really grouchy mood. So I just wanna show you guys what we have for dinner. Some um, little pieces of, of a roll. And I cooked some potatoes, green beans, and some chicken in the oven. And then just a little side salad. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Cake now. <laughs> Tell everyone what you did. Well, I bought you a cake for tomorrow. You yeah, cannot put it? you cannot put chocolate cake in this house and tell me I can't have it until tomorrow night. I'm still not getting <laughs> You're gonna go to bed at some point. I stay up later than you. Well, maybe I had the cake. <laughs> no, you, it has to stay in the fridge. No. Hold on, let me just show everybody. Hold her really quick. Let me just show everybody. <laughs> well, that was really dumb because now I've got it. <laughs> Don't drop it. Wait, let me show. Yeah, show the calories. Show, show all the red over here. <laughs> no, we're not going to show calories. It doesn't count on your birthday. <laughs> Chocolate. But I don't try it because it's not going to be good. Because I tried it. When did you try it? At the store. Well, then why did you buy it? Because I already bought it and then I tried it. But... Really? I don't understand what, what's in your head right now. <laughs> you, you didn't try it. <laughs> You're such a bad liar. <laughs> Everyone's asleep, and I know that there's a chocolate cake in the refrigerator, and I can't eat it. <laughs> I'm strong enough. I'm strong enough to, to resist chocolate. I'm strong enough. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and we'll see you tomorrow.